Hey, what's up YouTube's me Andrew here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all new HP Stream 11. All right, let's get started. With the holiday season approaching faster than you know it, many of you guys are wondering what budget laptop can I buy for a friend, relative, or for yourself? And for late 2014, HP introduces the HP Stream 11, which is a budget laptop that costs around $200 US. And you're probably wondering, wow, for $200 I can get a full Windows 8.1 laptop? Yep, that's right. And if you think that's not enough, you also get a year subscription to Office 365, and as a bonus, you get a $25 gift card to the Microsoft online store. HP and Microsoft is aiming this laptop towards the casual user that wants a laptop for basic productivity like word processing, browsing the web, to even watching 720p HD video. Will this laptop be able to play light duty games? We'll find out. Now let's break down the specs. This laptop features an Intel Celeron N2840 running at 2.16 GHz, 2 GB of DDR3 RAM, an 11.6 inch WLED backlit high definition display with a resolution of 1366 by 768, 32 gigabytes of eMMC solid state drive for your storage. This laptop runs Microsoft Windows 8.1 with Bing and the retail price is $199 US. Let's go and kick off this review by talking about the design and build quality. The HP Stream 11 features a plastic finish that feels pretty durable for the $200 price range. HP is calling this color Horizon Blue. Let's take a look at the bottom cover. There goes your two speakers on the bottom. Now I'm going to show you the interior of the laptop. Here you got a white keyboard and a buttonless trackpad. This laptop weighs 2.8 pounds and measures 0.8 inches thick. For $200 US, the design and build quality is actually pretty good. For this section, let's talk about keyboard flex. Let me go ahead and press down firmly. As you can see here, the keyboard flex is pretty good on this laptop. On the left side of the laptop, you got your Kensington security slot, AC charging port, and an SD card reader. On the right side, you got your full-size HDMI output, USB 3.0 port, USB 2.0 port, headset microphone jack combo, and your power status LED indicator. Now we're going to test out the viewing angles on this 11.6 inch TN panel. As you can see here, the viewing angles are not that good for this 11.6 inch TN panel. However, for $200, that was kind of expected. Next up is tilt the display all the way back, and that's at 100% right there. This laptop features an 11.6 inch WLED high definition display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. Overall, the color accuracy and contrast ratios were poor. However, texts were fairly sharp considering this laptop only has a screen size of 11.6 inches. And for $200 US, you can't complain. For the most part, this screen gets the job done. So how does the screen fare in our Color Rimner Spider 4 Pro? For the Adobe sRGB, I got a score of 60%. And for the more challenging Adobe RGB, I got a score of 45%. With these low scores, don't expect to be blown away by this panel. This laptop was designed for basic productivity like web browsing and word processing. Let's test out the performance of web browsing. Here I got the MSN website. Also the two finger scrolling on this Synaptics trackpad has been pretty smooth and precise. With that being said, I did encounter some issues with the trackpad, especially when trying to right click on some application properties. Alright, let's get back to our performance test. As you can see here, the web browsing performance test has been a smooth experience. The keyboard on HP Stream 11 has been surprisingly very comfortable to type on. With the $200 price range, I was expecting the worst. However, this keyboard offered good key travel and good tactile feedback. Overall, I've been highly impressed with this keyboard. Here goes a demo of the key travel in action. As you can see here, you get a good amount of key travel. The HP Stream 11 features an Intel Celeron N2840 clocked at 2.16 GHz that can burst up to 2.58 GHz. For basic productivity like browsing the web, running Microsoft Office, to even watching 720p HD video, this processor ran without any hiccups. But if you try to run demanding applications like Adobe Photoshop CS6, then you'll see the Intel Celeron N2840 come to a crawl. Let's dive into the Geekbench 3 performance benchmarks. This is a 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 1024. And for the multi-core score, I got 1800. The Intel Celeron N2840 also features the integrated Intel HD graphics. And here are the benchmarks for 3 Mark Advanced Edition. For Skydive, I got a score of 514. For Cloudgate, I got a score of 1,236. For Ice Storm Extreme, I got a score of 10,263. And for Ice Storm Unlimited, I got a score of 15,222. With these kind of scores, many of today's games will not be playable on this laptop. However, certain games like League of Legends will be playable on medium to high settings. And let me give you a demo of League of Legends in action. As you can see in the top right, we have about 29 frames per second. So far the game is running pretty smooth with no lag or hiccup. So far the frames are dropping about 27 frames per second. Let me just dip to 25. 
On average, I was able to get this game running at around 30 frames per second. Next up, we're going to try out Minecraft. Let's test out the Intel HD graphics. Right now, we're about 31 frames per second, and we just dipped to around 13 frames per second. So far, Minecraft is a bit more challenging to run on this laptop. Minecraft is playable on certain scenes. However, the lag is apparent when you're moving to a new scene where more blocks are being thrown. Get away from me. What, you want some of this? You better move. Yeah, get down. Here's a screenshot for the settings I have for Minecraft. This laptop features a 32GB eMMC solid state drive with a capacity of 32GB. However, the actual capacity is 21.5GB. But after installing Minecraft, League of Legends, and a couple of benchmarking software, I'm left with around 17.3GB. For those of you that need more capacity, I would recommend getting a high speed, high capacity SD card for your storage. Next up, we're going to take a look at SSD performance. This laptop features a 32GB eMMC solid state drive. For the sequential read speed, I got 167.2MB a second. And for the sequential write speed, I got 72.80 megabytes a second. While these speeds are much lower than the standard SSD, these speeds are still an improvement over a traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. Battery life on this laptop has been pretty impressive. On average, I'm able to get around 6-7 to seven hours out of full charge with screen brightness at around 70%. This laptop has two bottom facing speakers that are powered by DTS Studio Sound. The sound quality and levels from these speakers have been quite impressive for a laptop around this price range and size. And with DTS Studio Sound Control Panel, you can adjust the sound quality just the way you like it. What about fan noise? Nope, this laptop does not have any fans or traditional spinning hard drives. This laptop is whisper quiet. While playing League of Legends on Minecraft for about an hour, the maximum CPU temperature I got was around 77 degrees Celsius. If you're looking for a budget laptop for under $200 US that can handle basic tasks like Office, Netflix, and web browsing, then look no further than the all-new HP Stream 11. My only major cons was the huge amount of bloatware that HP put on this laptop, and the trackpad can be a pain sometimes. But for $200 US, you can't really complain too much. Alright, this completes my full review on the all new HP Stream 11. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the latest videos just like this one. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.